Thirsty Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. Welcome back to Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It is 838. We're inside the Forge Jeweler Studios today, and we've got uh, some need-to-know things coming up a little bit later on in this half hour. What you need to know is September, this month, is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and we're going to tell you about a special event that is happening in Washington, D.C. this week. It is called Cure Fest, and the mission of Cure Fest Raise awareness for the fact that pediatric cancer research needs to be more of a national priority. And with a lot of the local charities that I've talked with uh, here in Jersey over the years, uh, we've made uh, no secret about that, that more needs to be done. Uh, Our special guest on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline is Emily Belcher. She is a CureFest organizer and also the mother of a very brave 7-year-old who is battling brain cancer. Uh, And uh, they're in Washington, or they will be going to Washington soon. Uh, to talk about this uh, this cure fest, so let's meet to Emily Belcher this morning here on WCTC. Emily, good morning. It is Bert Barron. How are you? Good morning, Bert. I'm doing great, thank you. Wonderful to speak with you, and uh, I do a lot of work with pediatric cancer groups uh, here in New Jersey. And anybody listening, uh, they know exactly what you're going through. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. These thank other you. parents do definitely. So, uh, what are the, what is Cure Fest, and what are the goals that you're hoping to achieve uh, in Washington this week? Well, as you mentioned, um, CureFest's mission is to make childhood cancer research and funding a national priority. This weekend in Washington, D.C., CureFest brings together thousands of people, including families, the medical community, the general public, and there will also be representatives from over 250 childhood cancer foundations and groups. Um, So our goal will be to speak with one voice for these children who have been um, affected by this disease and those children who are yet to be diagnosed. Yeah, and it, it's about just, uh, I guess, on a united front and making some noise that, hey, you know what, enough is enough. We have to have funding and research here uh, for, for childhood and pediatric cancers. If I recall, and the number kind of escapes me, are, are we talking about maybe less than 5% uh, of the total money that goes to cancer research is just for pediatrics? Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Um, it's less than 5% of the federal funding is allocated specifically for, for childhood cancers. And that number is very important to us because there, there is a lot of funding um, that could help these children have better outcomes, less long-term side effects, and, and quite frankly, have, have less harsh treatments. Yeah. Talk about your brave little girl, Caroline, and talk about uh, what sort of support, uh, support and treatments uh, that she has received so far. Well, Caroline was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer called PNET when she was three years old. There's no treatment for that type of cancer, um, but she did go through chemotherapy. She had three bone marrow transplants, and then she also went and had proton radiation. Um, The proton radiation was the most effective. Um, She had hundreds of tumors throughout her brain and spine, and, and the proton radiation really wiped out almost all of those. So we're very grateful for that. What a brave little girl. And it's just so heartbreaking to me when I, when I hear a child give these very complicated and long medical terms for something that they're battling. It just seems so completely unfair to me, Emily. And as a parent, I'm sure you would agree. I, I absolutely Man. agree. Watching your child go through some of those treatments and be in the hospital day after day is, is very challenging. But I will tell you, these, these children are amazing, and they are resilient, and they're so very strong. Well, keep up the fight, and uh, you tell uh, Caroline that we have her back here, that's for sure. Uh, where, where can someone go to get some more information on CureFest? Um, well, there's two websites. You can go to CureFestUSA.org or AfflacDuckPrints.com. Um, Aflac is a, is a sponsor of the CureFest event this weekend, and mm-hmm. thanks in part to companies like them who have provided over $108 million toward childhood cancer research. Um, we are finally starting to see some improvement in the childhood cancer survivor rates. Good stuff. Uh, Emily, thank you for your time this morning. Keep up the fight, and uh, it was great to speak with you, all right? Thank you so much for having me. All right, my pleasure. Thank you. All right, Emily Belcher, my guest.